and Tie, once the great royal wife, decreed her dyers to be set down at the Ankh. Are you getting all this, Aaron? Riveting stuff. Is riveting really the word you're looking for, Monty? At least take a rubbing, man. Ah, hello again. We're getting in a little legwork while there's a break in the, uh, murdering. I don't know how au fait you are with the reign of Pharaoh Akhenaten. Creator of the would-be capital, Amana. Dedicated to his one god, Aten. It's out that way. Yes, a very long way out there. Even on its rushed schedule, the city was never completed. It was a vanity project, subject to the whims of Akhenaten's growing megalomania. And our man was distracted. By the demands of his Atenist religion. And the wiles of his mother, T.A. the Red Queen. She colored her nails blood red, perhaps even dyed her hair. Upper-class ancient Egyptian women were millennia ahead of the glamour curve. Think of a Lady Macbeth figure by way of Grace Jones. Who? Oh. Why did T.A., Akhenaten, and their divine cult start a new citadel in this empty place? What brought the Romans here decades on? I venture the answers are still carved under sand.